Paddling TV is brought to you by Ex Officio and their Soul Cool collection of shirts, which not only wick moisture from the body and dry quickly, but are made with ice fill technology. Ex Officio's Soul Cool shirts actually dissipate heat and provide a cooling effect. Check them out at exofficio.com. The long days of late spring in Alaska serve as a sharp contrast to the warm Floridian nights. Jim meets up with legendary kayak guide Howard McKim to test his line in these freezing cold waters. Let's go fishing. I'm Howard McKim, and we're in southeast Alaska, almost to Canada. We're right almost on the border, the southern tip of Prince of Wales Island. That's the third biggest island in America, behind Hawaii and Kodiak. I own Ketchikan Kayak Fishing. We do kayak fishing tours out of Ketchikan and some remote trips also. Finally, kind of out of nowhere, made the decision to come to Alaska. I was looking for a serious change of pace. Kind of always figured I would, I think, in the back of my mind, but had a few other things to get out of the way. I like to catch big halibut just because landing them so difficult. My biggest one's 183 pounds. The whole ordeal, it took me about eight hours total from when I hooked it till I was back home on my beach, which I launched from the night before. So I kayaked across the channel, spent the night on an island, hooked a big fish about 6 a.m., uh, fought it till noon or so, had a salmon rod, so it was quite a challenge, and thought about landing it in the water to see if I could, but really didn't want that one to get away because I wanted people to see what you can do from a kayak. Called the marina so I could come weigh it because I knew nobody would believe me. It went from there. <laughs> we got up extra early because we wanted to try and get out and be out there at uh, sunrise. And we got up at 3 a.m., hit the water by 4 which of course was still well after sunrise. <laughs> but uh, started off raining, and it looked like it was just going to get nasty, nasty, nasty. I mean, it just got rainier and windier. And then all of a sudden, it's like the flip, the switch got flipped, she turned off the wind machine, the sun came out, and the fish started to chew.
Can. They go three hours in a boat to get here just for the day, and we can be here in 10 minutes. So, really good spot for kayaking and for kayak fishing right here. We've just had endless fish. It's just been almost every drop, every spot. It's just been crazy. Got it. <laughs> Unlike most places where you go kayak fishing, where your arms get tired from paddling, your arms are definitely tired from pulling on fish. Nice yellow eye rockfish. Good fish. Eleven o'clock and we caught our limit. Had to come in. Had to yeah. come in. We'll be going back out for salmon. So yeah. that's a beautiful fish, isn't it? Arms spent from hauling in hundreds of fish, the crew heads to their home base at the one and only Rocky Bay Lodge. Well, my name is Donald Munhoven. My name's Lisa. Ah, uh, Donald Munhoven. And we own the Rocky Bay Lodge, and here we are out at Nichols, Nichols Bay. Well, you can, uh, for one thing, with you guys, kayaking, um, guided saltwater fishing, unguided saltwater fishing uh, for halibut, king salmon, cohos, uh, assortment of rockfish, yellow eye, and uh, link cut. They're in the prime location. It's real hard to get land around here, and that's why there is so much of it, because you can't just come by it, and you can't just build on it. So they have a floating lodge, very nice, luxurious, full facilities fish processing, freezers, everything. And they're right here, just inside the protected Nichols Bay here, right on Cape Shacken. But it's one of the best spots we have around. If you ask anybody in Ketchikan where they want to go fishing, it would be right here where we're sitting right now. You can do everything out here. It's, it's a lot of fun. You should come see us to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Our filet already forming here. Come Saturday night, seem like everybody knows when I'm a coming in the town. Oh, man. <laughs> they say if you stop and listen, you hear whispering. so good. I'm all done, man. I think it's time to do the dishes. Do it. All right. But we're so confident in the fishing here. Uh, we made a homemade lure last night. Three of the fine beers we've been drinking a little uh, octopus hook on the end so we're going to drop this special lure down I think we'll take bets first on what kind of fish this is going to catch I'm guessing we cut God's sakes man don't lose the lure So, you, like we said, if you're ever stuck out here with a bunch of beers, you know you can catch fish. <laughs> I got a case of beer and one fish hook. Hang on. This guy's <laughs> kind of heavy. The fishing here has rocked today. We've caught so many fish. I mean, literally in the hundreds. And, of course, you know, I know all of us on this trip will never forget having the orcas come up. Seeing those orcas from a distance and then to have them breach right out in front of us, wow. 
<laughs> I mean, just, oh, this has been a fantastic, fantastic day. I mean, and we've got so many more days to go. I mean, I don't know how we're going to top this day. Yeah, in another life, I bet I was a You're not going to make me leave, are you? Are you? Are you? I don't want to leave. Please, please don't make me leave. <laughs>